Welcome back to Fishing and Hunting Texas. We're on Lake Nakanish with Clark Wendlet and his guest this week, Strike King Pro, Todd Castledine. Go, oh, that's a good one. That's, that is a good one. <laughs> All right, that that's awesome, awesome. man. That's that awesome. was awesome. Oh, she's still on there. Just hang on to her. Oh, got her. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. These fish are fat. Yeah, that's a healthy yeah, one right look at there. That. God, that was awesome. Man, that was awesome. Like Clark threw in there and got bit, and I gave us in so much stuff. I don't even think he did anything wrong. It just, it just missed it. There was so much stuff there, and I threw it back in there and crushed it. Look awesome. at it. She ate. I mean, just, just totally just ate, ate that it. Thing. Yep, totally ate it. I was worried about the color for a while, and then I don't think that's the deal. I think we just we just got around that's some. That's three in like what, five minutes. By, yeah, I mean, we're just. I mean, it's like game on now. God, I don't think those are pre-spawners. I think those are. I don't know, but they're biting. I know. Let's go. You know, I never really know where to start. I think I just kind of go fishing, and I think that's really what we did today. It took us two or three hours before we really dialed in, and I think I think the sun helped. I think they were on that fry. We couldn't see the fry this morning, and so as, as everything kind of started coming together, I mean, it was like a light switch, and all of a sudden we went from catching nothing for three hours to getting one about every 15, 20 minutes. And, and all of a sudden we looked up and the day got really, really good. Great job, dude. That was too cool. <laughs> God, you oh, see how slow? Oh my gosh. God. Now that was a master at work right there. <laughs> what, what, what happened was is that fish, he, he bowled under it how many times? Two or three? It, under the pads and then one or more and then that, that one. And you just basically kept working, kept going back and forth, kept going back and forth. That's a good, that's a nice fat one right there too. Chunky. <laughs> he was still mad. The popping perch. I mean, it's a it's a bait that's easy to walk. It's got a good cadence when you're working it. You can work it slow. We caught some slow today. You can work it really fast. It throws just a little bit of spray. I mean, the bait is made perfectly. As Todd said, the bait is made around the hook. So with this popping perch, what we really tried to do when we designed it is we got a hook. That was our main goal. And so we got a hook and then we built the bait entirely around the hook. So when you look at it, you know, it, the hook's to it's totally weeless. It sits right on the edge of the popping perch and you can see that. And so we did that on purpose and that way, you know, when it compresses, you have all that gap in between where we get good hook sets. That's why. I mean, today we're throwing in the thickest cover, you know, we're not really losing any. And I think we have every opportunity to lose one and we're not. So when we did that, that was our main goal. After that, it was pretty much, you know, we had to design it and I always kind of describe it as like a, like a boat. You know, you got the top cap, which is, you know, what it looks like. So when they see it underneath, we got the, you know, the look of a perch. So you see the fins and everything else and then the bottom, that's more like the, the bottom hole of your boat. That's what makes it move, walk, it does all that. So after that, it was pretty much just, you know, getting the tail right, getting it weighted right, getting the mouth right. But those two were the, the two biggest reasons of, of why we designed it and how we designed it to where, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was built exactly how we wanted it to perform right and never lose one. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fun. <laughs> Popping perch right there. That's a nice one. That's fun. <laughs> It's just fun to work so hard to get back in stuff like this. And I mean, the boat will take some punishment when you get back in stuff like this, but if you got the right boat, you can do whatever you want back here, so. At about 700 acres, Lake Nakanish is a small reservoir by most standards. Texas Parks and Wildlife began stocking the lake in 2009, three years before opening to the public. Under stringent management, the lake has turned into an impressive fishery, with a lake record largemouth at better than 14 pounds. 
If you've got any questions about the lake or the gear used on today's show, reach out to Clark on the Fishing and Hunting Texas Facebook page. He'd love to hear from you.